Okay, welcome back everybody. Hope you're doing well. Um, most of you are probably doing fine, but there's this one guy, right? He's out there molding right now. This man is spending his nights thinking about me, bro. It's unreal. This guy wrote an entire essay, bro, a college thesis in my comment section telling me how much he doesn't like me. And honestly, what can I say, man? It really hurt my feelings. Um, I cried for 15 years straight. I'm in fact 55 years old now, and I finally gathered the courage to respond to this guy okay? Please subscribe so I can stay strong, you know? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's read this. Um, I really hate this guy. He's the first person that I actually want to hate on. Oh my god, dude, I feel so flattered. I'm his first experience, dude, being a hater on the internet. Glad you're not a virgin anymore, my guy. I'm glad I could break that little shell of yours. Okay, then he continues by saying some of his opinions are right, but he does near to zero research and sometimes, very little times, his opinion is fully correct, but his personality is literally disgusting. He starts off by saying, some of my opinions are right, but I do zero research. Okay, dude, first off, do you know what an opinion is? If I say that a certain TikToker is cringe, that's my opinion, right? And a lot of people might agree, you don't really have to agree, you can go cry in your basement. I don't know why exactly you're molding, did I make fun of Charlie D'Amelio or something? Also, just give me a minute, right? I, I just want to assess, like, the logic being employed here, right? How would I possibly make a video in a situation with zero research? I literally wouldn't even know what happened, you moron. Like, I, I genuinely don't understand what you want me to do. Like what? Do I study a four-year college course on Jake Paul? Do I get a goddamn PhD on every topic? Like sorry, I don't spend my days stalking TikTokers, okay? I, I see something stupid they do on the internet and I talk about it, okay? I don't need to know their life story. I I'm pretty sure I do enough research. I'm pretty sure my viewers would agree as well, so you can just cry more, dude. Also, when you said my personality is disgusting, I cried for 500 hours dude. Honestly, I expect some sort of an elaboration here, like, you know, why do you think that? Like, y you know, to be honest, I, I, I actually couldn't care what you think. It it's just, like, if one person doesn't like my personality, I mean, that's fine. It, like, each and every one of my videos gets, like, hundreds of dislikes, and some are, like, disliked instantly upon upload, right? Before I can like my own video, there's, like, six dislikes. So, like, you know, when you're on the internet, some people are just not gonna like you. I've just kind of come to, like, accept that because you can't really please everybody. Sadly, this is about 40 to 60% of his content, which is my disgusting personality, 40 to 60%, okay. The rest is him whining or crying about something, or just plain wrong, okay, English. Um, he clearly has an overbloated ego and thinks he's always correct. He can never take criticism or accept other people's opinions. And yet his opinions are never his own. They are always taken from a content creator that he watches, etc. Okay, sir, I, I will need you to calm down for a little second, all right? I, I gotta explain something to you. First off, what do you mean I copy the, the, my opinion from the content creator I watch? Who are you talking about? You don't even know who I watch. I watch the Sidemen and PewDiePie. They don't even have, like, opinions on half of these topics. You know why? Because they're completely fresh topics. I literally just find some random garbage on Twitter and react to it on the spot, on the day. Like, you're literally talking out of your butt. You have no idea what you're saying at all. Also, for your information, I barely watch any commentary at all. Right now, in fact, I'm watching Breaking Bad uh, on Netflix and, and Attack on Titan, if that means anything. And uh, oh god, he, he hates the Titans. What a sheeple, dude. Copying other people's opinions. Like, honestly, your stupidity is concerning. Like, surely there's a diagnosis for this, right? When you went to the doctor, did he prescribe you with brain damage? Because goddamn, you need the medication. Okay, also one more thing. Can you please, like, write full sentences without continuing it on with a comma? Like, this stuff never annoys me, but you've done it so many times in the same paragraph. It's just pissed me off. I feel like you you had these jumbled thoughts in your head, you were, you were so mad at YouTuber Pegasus that you spewed out some garbage into the comment section. This is like a dirty bowel movement, dude. Okay, so after that, he says that I have an overbloated ego and I think I'm always correct. And yes, I do have a huge ego. What are you gonna do about it? It really doesn't make me a bad person at all. It doesn't influence my decisions in life or my personality whatsoever. Honestly, the reason I have a big ego is because of idiots like you. You are 
present in hordes on the internet. You guys are like this never-ending wave of stupid zombies. And when there's that many stupid people on the internet, you know, the average person, me, right? We, we kind of go like, hey, maybe I'm not so bad, you know? May maybe I'm not as stupid as these morons. And it gives you the sense of confidence. And then you realize that's not really a bad thing. It's just kind of true. Also, just reading the next parts, I can clearly see that you're a massive fan of the Pegasus channel because clearly you've watched one of my very rare videos where I opened up and I said how I was feeling big headed. Pretty much, if you guys didn't know, I made a video called I'm a Huge Narcissist. I essentially, I talked about how I, I constantly make Make videos on like these dumb people on the internet and I'm calling people out and then I proceeded to bring up the problem of how do you call someone stupid without simultaneously implying that you yourself are smart and I said that I don't really feel like that and I'm sorry if it comes off that way it's just a little annoying side effect that I've been dealing with and debating with myself on and I also mentioned in that video that absolutely nobody ever in my entire life not even on the internet has said I have a big ego you're probably like the first guy ever and I told I totally understand why because I never like say stuff out loud all the time, you know, I'm only inside my own head, right? So I was feeling a sense of guilt just by my own thoughts and stuff. So I googled like traits of a big ego and all of that and then I went over it and it was just like a video, like a wholesome video of self-reflection and stuff, right? You know, something everybody should do, you should like examine your character so that way in the future you can look back and then you don't turn into a terrible person. I just wanted to stay a bit grounded because when you get a little bit of a tension on the internet, you have to know how to handle it or you'll turn into some Jake Paul type of guy who just disrespects everybody, right? And pretty much this guy saw what I said about myself, right? A wholesome video and pretty much just repeated what I said to myself. Suppose I call myself fat and ugly and then somebody else just walks up to me like a complete stranger and then calls me fat and ugly. It's not really the same thing, is it? One, one of them is like self-deprecating humor and the other one is just flat out mean. So even though you're saying the same thing, it's completely different. So that's pretty much what this guy is trying to hide behind. He essentially says over bloated ego, thinks he's always correct, can never take criticism. I, I don't know where this one came from because I never said that. Um, I literally read all the comments on every video and try to get feedback for all of my videos. And if this is what you consider criticism, really dude, you're literally just saying like in this giant paragraph that I'm a horrible person and you know, you, you actually really despise me but giving absolutely no indication of where I go wrong or how to improve in any way. Listen loud and clear, this isn't criticism. You're pretty much just a salty hater, dude. Okay, then he says, I can't accept other people's opinions. Literally every single video, I'm like partly agreeing with people and partly disagreeing. Were you, dude, I, I gotta ask, like, were you dropped on your head as a baby? I have to, like, dude, have they injected 50 liters of vodka into your bloodstream at age two? And since then, you've just been perpetually drunk, dude, unable to think straight for your entire life, cause god damn! He himself has admitted to having no friends, and this is not because he's an introvert or something, even they have friends. It's because his personality and everything about himself is gross and unattractive. I'm happy to not know anyone else like this. Even the people I hate aren't like this, and I hope to never meet this idiotic, bigoted loser with the mind of a seven-year-old. Wow, this guy really doesn't like me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I do have no friends, but that is by choice, right? I choose not to have friends. I, I genuinely just don't like interacting with people, especially those as moronic as yourself. You'd honestly be surprised how many people like you are out there. It's honestly scary. And if I wanted friends, I could get them, but they wouldn't like be real friends. They'd be like shallow and surface level void friendships. In general, like humans value people that are similar to themselves and we enjoy people like like ourselves, and I'm a super ultra mega oddball, therefore I, I don't really relate to most people. And pretty much IRL, I don't know if I've been dealt a bad hand or whatever, but I just haven't found people like me, and that's why I went to the internet, right? So that I can talk to people that I relate to, people with my sense of humor, and people who actually understand me, you know? And you know, you might find me gross and unattractive, and that's completely fine, but 400,000 people don't, and you know, that's, that's all that matters. Also, also, I gotta point out the molding in this next part, like, I I'm happy to not know anyone else like this. Even the people I hate aren't like this. I mean, okay, dude. <laughs> 
Th this guy, this guy just woke up and chose mauled, okay? This dude hasn't even met me and he hates me more than his mom hates him, dude. And then he finishes off his college thesis by saying, I know comedy is subjective and many people will find me unfunny, so I won't say anything about that. I hate this guy. Okay, moron, comedy is subjective, but opinions are not. Can you just like scroll up and read your own comment? Like, imagine contradicting yourself in your goddamn college thesis, dude. This is not gonna work. You should be grateful that I even gave this comment the light of day. I could have just scrolled past it like the thousand other comments each and every video, but I saw something special in you, dude. Your stupidity shined like the rising sun. I just had to stop by, admire it, say a few words, and then move on. Honestly, I dare you to comment something like this again, dude. I will literally make merch out of you, make five grand from your molding, then I'ma buy a PC from your brainless comment, and then use it to make every other video from now on. Okay, I will go out of my way to make sure you personally have made me a million dollars, dude. Just try me, I swear to God. Okay, dude. <laughs> Cry more, um, go home and mauled because random YouTuber made fun of you in a video. I'm done. I feel like a teacher that has just graded the worst exam paper in all of history. You get an F star. F for fail and a star because your stupidity was out of this world, my guy. Okay, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, smash like, subscribe, and let's get to 500k so this dude actually loses his mind. And yeah, um, that, that, that's the kind of stuff I gotta deal with on YouTube.com, dude. Honestly, I enjoy it, okay? Free video. Have a wonderful day ahead, and yeah, see you guys next time. Bye bye